How's it going everyone? Well, I decided to kind of make this video to reflect back on my days as a personal trainer. Now, I have no desire to go back into that type of career field as a personal trainer or into training or anything like that, but it's kind of fun just to kind of reflect back on those days and to kind of ponder why I may have failed in such endeavor. And it is logical to assume that probably one of the biggest reasons why I had difficulty in that particular career field was I sounded pretty much like a robot, really monotone. And I mean, like, who would want to train with a robot when you can just simply download an app and have the app give you pointers on what to do for an exercise or how, how to clean up your form or whatnot. So here's probably an example of what, what I may have sounded like during my days as a personal trainer. So just kind of imagine that a potential client's walking through the doors, they check in, and I'd be like, okay, they'd be like, okay, they'd be like, yeah, your personal trainer Donnelly's back there waiting for you. And it's like, okay, here comes the client. I'd be like, hello, my name is Donnelly. How are you doing today? Great. All right, you ready to have a fun workout session? All right, first, let's go back here and I'm gonna have you fill out some paperwork. It's gonna consist of five questions. Just kind of get an idea of what your goals are, what you hope to improve on, a little bit about your diet. And then after that, we're gonna get some measurements on your weight, your height, and some other like body fat. Once we're done with that, we're gonna go out to the gym floor and I'm gonna show you some awesome exercises. All right, you're done with your paperwork, good. All right, now let's go out and under the exercise floor. The first exercise I'm going to show you that's really crucial for helping to build a leg strength and that's going to help with balance and walking is doing some squats. All right, so we're going to come back. I want you to lean up against the wall here and just make sure that you keep chest out, head facing forward. Try not to hunch over too much. Good, 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 good. Okay, come back nice and slow. All right, I want you to do nine more of those all right good job all right next exercise we're gonna do some leg curls all right on this machine you're just gonna simply use those knobs to adjust the seat height and the length of this other knob pull the pin put it on your desired weight all right go ahead and do 10 reps keep it nice and slow all right one two three four five six all right Good job. All right, now we're gonna do an upper body exercise on this TRX. So what I want you to do is I want you to make sure you grab both your wrists, keep your wrists straight, and you can just kind of pull back, keeping those elbows tucked in. All right, good. Uh, keep that elbow in, good, good. All right, let's do five more. Good job. All right, what did you think of that workout? Pretty cool. All right, so now we're gonna go back and I'm gonna just kind of give you a little bit of an example of what you could do for the next week. All right, now I'm gonna show you some training packages. And so what do you think? Do you, are you ready to achieve your goal? <laughs> okay, so you, I think you guys get the idea that it is possible that I was sounding like a robot. Ah, so, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna go off the whim and say that, yeah, that's probably why I had difficulty being a personal trainer. I mean, it's like, who would wanna train? with their robot. <laughs> okay, just kind of want to just kind of share my thoughts and kind of reflect back on my experiences of being a personal trainer. Thank you all for watching. Peace out.